hi welcome uh, to our next part of graphic design and in today's uh, session we're going to talk about letterhead okay we're going to talk about letterhead now every company that you come across with as a graphic designer has a letterhead now today we're going to explore uh, letterhead how to design a letterhead uh, of course um, you've been trained up to this point you've been trained how to originally make your own work but um, just for the purpose of lecture or this lesson we are going to rely much on the, the template okay so without wasting much of your time let's go on to our site uh, freepick.com to download our uh, our template then you can edit it the reason why we are doing we are using the you know the templates because it's easier okay it's easier and you form quality but nevertheless as you practice build yourself to creating original works why i am here i'm a graphic designer and i create original works by myself okay because i want my work to be unique okay but for a start you cannot just start to be very you know good at what you i mean at, at yours you can actually be able to uh you know create these things using uh other mockups okay so let's go and check it out okay so here i am at uh, free pick so what i'll do is i'll just say letter heads letter head okay letter head okay and uh, browse so as it has come so i'll actually streamline to free so that i have uh, a free so as you can see all these are the free letterheads that are available you can actually be able to choose from all these free uh, letterheads um okay so these are what makes your work professional okay these are what makes your work professional okay so you can actually uh, choose from um of course right now what we're looking at is our company our company uh, you know our company uh, uh, colors are, are, are green okay so you need you can look for anything that you like but uh, for the sake of uh, for the sake and the purpose of this lecture or this lesson i will not spend much time looking and looking and looking because it is wasting time so i'll just go ahead and download this one which has got green some part of green and uh, and and things like that so let me download this okay so uh, this thing let me download this okay so it's downloading okay it's downloading it's downloading um so when it downloads i'll actually uh wait for it to download and after downloading i'll open it then i'll resume the video okay so here is my work i've downloaded and um, i want to edit it okay so what i'll do is as you can see so i'll go ahead and create my new document now my new document is um, supposed to be a4 okay so a4 uh, once you you, you search uh, you, you have to get a4 okay and i'm sure by now you are uh, uh, you are very much aware of how to choose sizes in case we've got challenges just go to the internet and search for size of a4 okay so here is my my work okay so here is my work so what i'll do is um i will i will go ahead and actually uh you know copy this so first of all to copy this i'll just go to Control a to highlight everything then Control c okay so Control c i've copied then Control v okay i'm pasting okay i'm pasting Control v okay here it has come uh, okay 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 uh, that is a sign that my paper is a bit smaller okay nevertheless at least you understand how to um to bring this this one okay so what we do is we have to just have to make it match we made it there okay so we bring it there okay we bring it there in the sizes like that okay 
now here you have to remove this thing that you are seeing here the white thing is the background so we have to remove it so we have to remove it uh, okay so it has been removed so what we've remained with is just uh, work okay so I'll show you how it's done okay so now here it is now let's begin editing let's begin editing okay let's begin editing so of course we're going to remove this part of course the words we don't need them of course uh, before we actually move them before we actually move them uh, first thing what we need to do as you as you've seen these are together so what we do is ungroup okay right click so we do uh, you click on it first it is attached so you do right click and group okay so once you right click and and group then we start okay as you can see all oh, this thing is grouped so you do anything that is grouped you have to uh, isolate it okay so now here this is isolated so we're removing this so okay so let's add our 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 logo there okay let's add our logo let's add our logo where is my logo it is my logo where is my logo it is in here okay so okay so you have to go where you saved your logo to okay okay let's see okay now remember i've always been indicating that your logo doesn't need to have a background why because when the logo doesn't have a background it is easy it is easy to manipulate okay it is easy to manipulate it is easy actually to add on different backgrounds and it will come out very very well okay so uh, I'm adding my logo there okay I need to make sure it doesn't look a um, bit um, okay unbalanced so there it is okay so okay that's my logo I've added my logo then let me go to contact this thing you guys is very very easy okay so since this part is uh, so just go to just delete this i don't need it okay i don't need it the date i don't need it um this one so this as you can see there are other shapes as you can see so for me to ed edit it properly i have to just remove it first put it on it on then right click right click then go on and group okay so i've uh, here i can actually edit it on on its own so plus two six zero uh, six zero plus two six zero plus two six zero uh, nine seven uh, five okay so we see um sixty sixty okay so five then six okay seven um, seven five six eight uh six four okay so this is the number six eight six eight six four okay so we cut it from where 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 okay okay so i'm adding my number there the number of the company of course then there we go to okay we are done with that we go to and this is the email now okay the email is um secretary at trust life foundation dot org okay so we do okay six then we go to the the website of course um okay the website of course so the website is www.trustlifefoundation okay dot org okay dot org that's the name of the thing okay now as you can see yeah uh, it's done so what i'll do i just do this uh then group okay I've regrouped them again so meaning that from there I can't edit them uh, separately I can't edit them singular okay so here I can actually okay so I can actually be able to 
move them okay okay so I'm, move, I'm moving it where it was so I've just gotten it and dragged it over to where it was supposed to be okay so here I'm done so everything the, the work has got everything so here of course uh, this uh, how we have to apply the, the signature of what but here uh, what we can do is uh, let's just add a bit of something let's add a bit of something uh, so we say uh, just life okay just life foundation okay just life foundation there then okay so just like foundation of course um okay and there is a problem okay um okay okay i think it's okay just like foundation um of course uh, you need to add some content add some work add some some beauty to it okay so lines also beautify the um, the design okay so just like foundation um okay so then down there let's put something like our motto enhancing enhancing our life journey okay let's hope this is um clear and you are seeing what i'm doing as simple as that okay now uh, a letterhead has to be has to look as simple as possible make it look si as simple as as possible okay so yeah so that it's actually fit uh, you can see how i've moved it okay so let's go um so you can actually add different different stuff okay so let me also add something this enhancing uh, so um let's say creating creating um various empowerment options okay so creating various empowerment options okay so here it is let me just change the, um, the font which font i wanted to use something stylic something stylic something stylic okay let's see mm, how is this okay okay so for the sake of time you, you can actually make a very beautiful uh you know uh, design more than this however this is just to give you a basis for you to create your own own beautiful work okay how amazing this is you guys okay so well, something like this of course um you can bring something down there also or what you can do just copy and paste so this same thing just copy it and paste it okay control c so what i want to do is i want it also to be to be on the other other side okay now um okay nice so that is done that is done so um since we have all the all the you know all the all the all the details that we need creating various empowerment options so these days people changed we are in the 21st century people changed that issue of you know having to deal with uh, certain things so certain things are never added on the on the letters because uh, it's a world of covid where people meet online so as it is uh, for me we are done so let's save it how do you save it okay so we go to save for web uh, save for web then jpeg i mean uh, png 
okay png don't have i don't need to have a background i'll also show you how to add it on the actual document okay so let's save it let us save it okay um actually some some students for uh, some time back have actually called to say sir how can i uh, put that work how can i put that work back to you know how can i put that work on the on the actual paper okay i failed to put the work on the actual paper so we're going to do that so this is letter heads okay letter heads okay so uh-huh so we've saved this always ensure that you also save a template save also it as a template now this will, uh, will help you in the sense that when you are about to uh, you know if you change your mind if you change you want to change something you easily find your work okay so letterhead so this is a template letterhead head template okay so this is a template uh, in adobe illustrator okay so now let's open a document and uh, add something okay so let's look at it i'm going ahead to open my word document once i write something okay okay so as you can see uh, this is my work i've just gotten something and i want to uh, just show an example how it's done okay so this is my work i type type now i want to add that uh, you know that um, uh, that work okay now when i do this look at where the problem comes in okay if you go and just add for instance you add like a picture because that work you saved it as a picture is more of an a picture okay it's more of a picture so if you come here and add it like this okay the problem is it will come like this it will not come on top of the work okay meaning that you have a problem but know that this work is actually you know it is actually you know a png file so what we do i'll just do you know a control z to go back okay so what i'll do is for you to add it properly you have to create for you to insert it properly okay you create a shape there once you create a shape then you just drag it all throughout okay all throughout the page like this so as you, as you can see this shape is covering the whole page like on dot to dot okay on edge to edge so uh, as it is covering so what you do is now is you go on shape uh shape fill okay shape fill then you go uh picture okay so meaning what you want you want the shape to feel uh, a picture so you just go there on the letter head and it's it's there okay now as you can see um, as you can see it requires it is required that uh, it is starting from somewhere so what you can uh, do now there is since it has already been done so just do this okay just uh, push it a bit and uh, okay just there so that uh, it starts from somewhere Okay, so it starts from somewhere. Of course, many people have got different approaches to which they use this. Uh, however, uh, this is actually one of the easiest ways. Okay, there are so many ways, but this is actually the easiest, one of the easiest ways. So as you can see, okay, so you have the document like that. So as you can see, it is actually um, covering, okay? It is actually covering um, edge to edge, okay? it is actually covering edge to edge as you can see so you are you are done you, you even go ahead and print this and it's uh, isn't this looking very formal it is very formal so all you have to do is work around it so if you want to add it to other pages you can actually just copy and paste it okay just copy and paste it okay so after this looking at this work i want to go ahead and do the assignment I want you to go ahead and do the assignment and the, your assignment is one you are making a letterhead for just life uh, skills empowerment program then secondly you are making uh, a letterhead for your own company okay you are making a letterhead for your own company so go ahead and make that uh, do that assignment yeah this assignment is not bulky only two pages um, I mean all, only two works are needed from you not so many so you can actually go ahead and deal with it I'll see you on the uh, uh, in the other sessions when we'll be talking about different things about graphic design thank you so much have a blessed 
uh, evening, day, morning, and uh, have a blessed morning. Or have a blessed moment, in short. Bye.